Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Brianna and today I wanted to share with you an older limited edition product from Lush's range and this is a bit of a fun one. So I'm kind of excited to get into reviewing this for you. This is the first snow dusting powder. Now, as you can see, the person who had this before me has definitely used quite a bit of this and really enjoyed it. So that was already a good sign for me. So I believe this product is from Christmas 2015, just looking at the manufacture date. Um, I'm not sure if this made appearances in 2016, 2017, 2018. So can someone please let me know as well if it made an appearance later than 2015 from your recollections? I know there are a few of you who are more old school Lushies who could definitely help me out with that. So please let me know if you do know. But I love this sort of blue color here. Um, and the way it's been marketed. And I love any of the old dusting powders. They just, I, I love dusting powders. They're, they're a fun product and I wish Lush would do more different ones, but let's get into the ingredients anyway. So this has got corn flour, snowflake, snowflake luster, titanium dioxide, magnesium carbonate, talc, geo pearl, crystal glittering rainbow. Okie dokie. Uh, it has sweet orange oil, cognac oil, lime oil, and some other bits and pieces. So for those of you who might not be aware of what First Snow is or what scent family it's from, it is from the Celebrate scent family. So the Celebrate scent family is an older scent family at Lush. It is typically a Christmas scent family. They do have the Bucks Fizz body conditioner, uh, which is a very, that's a, sort of from the same time period, an older limited edition product, which I will be reviewing next for you as well, just to let you know, heads up. Uh, it also has the Celebrate body milk, which was available for Christmas 2020. Um, but it was only available in a gift set, which was a little bit of a disappointment. And they also have the Celebrate Body Spray, which they bring back a lot of years over Christmas. Um, and that's one I also have in my collection. So all you really need to know is, yes, it does have that beautiful sort of sweet orange. Sometimes they use Brazilian orange oil in these products. So, yeah, you get a very nice, rich sort of fruity, a little bit of a citrusy scent in there and a little bit of sweetness. Uh, the lime is also, you know, there to give it that sort of citrus vibe and the cognac oil is there to sort of give it that boozy scent. Um, give it the celebrate in celebrate, if you get what I mean, because, you know, Christmas is associated with people having a drink um, and, you know, having a laugh, having a good time. Whether, whether you agree with that or not in terms of alcohol, um, you know, that that's basically what most people in the West associate Christmas with is being with family, friends, having a drink, having a good time. So I have applied some of this to the back of my hand before coming on camera just to show you the sparkle of it. So the sparkle is really, really intense of this one. So I've got a cool toned uh, sparkle to it. Uh, there are some sort of uh, golden reflex in there as well. So it's sort of this cool mixture of warm and cool tones, I guess, gold and silver. Now, in terms of the scent, it is really, really mild. Um, I don't know if that's because of the age of the product or if that's just the way it was designed. Um, yeah, and if I smell from the, the top of the lid as well and just open it up for you, I do get a very faint sort of celebrate style smell. I don't get a lot from it. Um, once again, it could just be the age of the product or it could just be the way it was manufactured. So I would love to hear your thoughts on this as well. If if you've noticed that this was sort of a milder scent um, when you did purchase it all those years ago, if you did purchase it fresh, um, so for me personally, I don't really get much of the scent. There is that sort of very faint sort of citrusy smell, that sort of orangey smell that I get, uh, but there's not a lot of smell to it. Um, now, I do like my dusting powders to have a little bit more smell than this, generally. Um, I like the sparkle of it. I think the sparkle is really pretty. And I think it is a good product and I think it does a good job as a dusting powder it does what it says so i think i'm going to give it a four out of five just because yeah the scent is just not hitting it for me unfortunately but you know that could be just the way this person has stored the product it could be manufacture thing it could be anything but because it is so old i can't really tell so thank you so much for watching i really do appreciate all the support i get on this channel please stay tuned for more reviews like this and until next time take care and i hope to see you very soon bye for now